everybody Dina here from awesometools.com. In this tutorial we are going to create a dev animation like you seen in the beginning of this tutorial and let's open our blender with our project file which you will be able to get from link I'm going to post into the description of this tutorial and by the way if you would like to know how to create and rig character like this one and also create walking and running cycles and later on if you would like to know how to import character like this one for game engines like unity or unreal we got full course on our website and we got other courses as well so far we got about 29 course and every week we are going to release a new course so you can check it there will be a link in the description of this tutorial so let's begin so first thing let's decrease number of keyframes that we are going to use in our animation right now is 20, 250 and we are going to decrease it to only about 20 because it's going to be a real short and let's zoom in so we can see it better to about here and now let's select one of these bones by pressing left click on it and let me just real quick turn on my screen cast so you can see what I'm pressing. So let's select one of these bones and go here in pose mode. The first thing we need to rotate our arm to be straight. So I'm going to select the whole arm and press R and move it down to about here. And now I'm going to copy the pose from the left and with shift control and V I'm going to paste it on the other side and now we got both of our arms straight at the same position as you can see so let's go back in front orthographic by pressing one on a keyboard and now let's select everything and let's go and change our workspace from layout to animation as you can see I change a little bit our default animation workspace so I got here image editor and I imported this character this 2d character that represents dev and here is our 3d viewport without uh, overlays turned on and now let's select everything one more time so I'm going to drag box around our character and I'm going to press I on a keyboard and this menu will pop up which is for inserting keyframe and there is a different options that you can pick but for this tutorial we are going to pick location rotation and scale so this pose is going to be on our first keyframe so the next thing we need to move to 15th frame you can do it by dragging this or you can type here 15 and now we are going to recreate this pose as it is on this picture by the way this is png that's why this is transparent so the first thing let's grab this hip let's select hip and i'm going to press g and z to move it down like this and now i'm going to grab this bone here which is inverse kinematic leg bone and i'm going back in front orthographic view and i'm going to move it slightly on this side something like like this and also the other one like this and now I'm going to select this pole bone and with G I'm going to move it on the side so we got something like this let's move hip a little bit up and now let's go in right orthographic view by pressing number three on an numpad and we are going to rotate our hip and chest and head by pressing R forward and let's now select chest and rotate as well slightly forward and now let's go in front orthographic view and the next thing that we need to do is we need to rotate our upper right arm so let's go in left orthographic view I'm going to press R and rotate on the side to about here and now in top orthographic view by pressing 7 you can go and I'm going to rotate our lower arm and head hand as well something like this 
and let's go back in left orthographic view I'm going to rotate this a little bit up and I'm going to grab head and move it down like this let's go again in top orthographic view by pressing 7 I'm going to zoom in to see it better and I'm going to rotate a little bit inside our upper arm and our hand as well and I'm going to rotate head as well on the side something like this and in front orthographic view I'm going to grab lower arm and move it slightly up something like this and hand as well let's zoom out to see how everything is looking so far it's not bad so let's continue now we need to select our left arm I'm going to select upper left arm and I'm going to rotate on the side by pressing R and rotate and now let's go in top orthographic view and I'm going to rotate to about here something like this and let's go in right orthographic view and let's rotate slightly more forward our chest bone and this is good so far so let's select everything and I'm going to press again I and I'm going to pick lock rotten scale so let's play our animation and as you can see we are almost there so let's stop now and the only thing that we need to change is we are going to go on 15th frame and we are going to select everything and we are going to move our character on the X to about here let's zoom in to see it better because we don't want to move our right leg anywhere so let's again press I and we are going to pick again location rotation and scale and now if you play animation you can see it's much better so let's stop again and let's go here on the 8th frame and now on this keyframe I'm going to select this left inverse kinematic bone for our foot and I'm going to grab it by pressing G on a keyboard and I'm going to lock on Z axis to move it up like this and also I'm going to move our upper arm on, uh, from the left arm inside like this and I'm going to select now again everything and I'm going to insert location, rotation and scale and now if you play animation you can see that we created our dab animation for this character so let's see how everything is looking we can also for example change here on the 15th frame if you go in top orthographic view you can rotate this foot slightly to the side and again now make sure that your foot is on the ground like this and select everything again and replace keyframe and now if you play animation you can see it's much better so let's turn off our overlays to see how everything is looking let's also change one more thing here on the 15th frame we are going to select this chest bone and rotate slightly to the left and now let's select everything again replace our keyframe again location rotation and scale as well so let's play our animation and as you can see we are done with our dab animation for our character i hope you like it and if you do please like share and subscribe to our channel and if you didn't let me know in the comments below and every week we are going to release a new course in our academy so make sure you check that there will be link in the description of this tutorial 
and so yeah that's it for this tutorial and see you in the next one bye